We first launch Visual Studio as administrator. So I'll right click Visual Studio shortcut icon on my desktop and run as administrator. Then we go to our file menu, new project. We can now see our new project dialog box, which contains a variety of project templates. These project templates can be used to create many different types of applications. For example, desktop applications like Windows Presentation Foundation or WinForms applications, universal Windows platform applications for multiple Windows devices, web applications like MVC, which stands for Model View Controller, mobile applications using Xamarin Forms for iOS and Android platforms, cloud-based applications for MS Azure. There are also many other project types available. The details of the various project templates are beyond the scope of this tutorial, but I hope that gives a basic idea of the types of project templates that are available. Project templates help the developer get started with a particular type of project. Project templates can be categorized under their relevant .NET programming language. So let's take a look at some of the .NET programming languages. C Sharp, Visual Basic, C++, and F Sharp. Right, let's take a closer look at the C Sharp section. As you can see, we have two options for the C Sharp console project. Console application for the .NET framework runtime and console application for the .NET core runtime. If we were to select the console application for the .NET framework, we can also target which version of the .NET framework we wish to use in our application. We can further drill down into subcategories and the one of interest to us is .NET Core. When we click on this, we can see all the project templates available for the c -sharp language and .NET Core runtime. So we are going to create a console project using the .NET Core runtime. We must give the project a name. So we type in the name field, hello name. As you can see, the solution field is updated automatically with every key press but you are able to differentiate the solution name from the project name if you wish by manually updating the solution field. A solution can be comprised of one or more projects, but we are going to develop one project for this solution, so we'll keep the solution name the same as our project name. Right, let's press the OK button to create our .NET Core console project.